Well, hello. I wanted to share with you a little bit of what God has laid on my heart this week out of Psalm chapter 46. So here we go. Psalm chapter 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. And here it is. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Now, how appropriate is that? scripture for right now, what we're facing. And I just want to bring up a couple of points here, very simple. And that's what I slowed down on in verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. First point, be still. Now in this chaos, so many of us are fearful and rightfully so under the circumstances. It's chaotic. It's crazy. People are acting foolish and, and, and honestly, people are dying. This is a chaos that we've never seen before. And in the midst of all this chaos, God is saying to us, be still, be still. When the children of Israel were at the Red Sea and they had come out all the way out of Egypt. All of them were, were there. They were trapped on one side by the Red Sea. And then they look behind them and the Egyptians are coming. And they were afraid. They were out of their minds. They were, uh, many of them were just, uh, they, they didn't know what to do. They're just panicking. And Moses said to them at that time, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. The Egyptians whom you've seen today, you shall see them no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. In the midst of this, when God is telling us to be still, he's also telling us that he will fight for us. So not only are we to be still in this chaos, it also says be still and know. That word know actually means a very intimate knowledge. It's to be still and know. So we need to know what we believe. Once we know what we believe, then we have to actually believe what we know, right? So we have to know what we believe. What do we believe? Well, we believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior. He's the only way to heaven. We believe that if we put our trust in him, there's no condemnation for us. And whom the Son sets free shall be free indeed. And don't you just want to be free right now? That is, that's what I'm seeking for is the freedom that comes in Jesus Christ. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And when you put him in the proper position that he is and acknowledge him and put your trust in him and believe in him and know him intimately, and no matter what the chaos is that's going on, we can know him in the power of his resurrection we know that he's God. We know that no man shall pluck us out of his hand. And when we know that, we can rest and be still and let the freedom that's in Jesus Christ cover us in this time of chaos.